So let's have a look at some of the objects that we need to use. The first one is the route object. And this one documents which autonomous system number is originating the route that's listed. This is required by many major transit providers today. They build their customer and peer filter based on the route objects listed in the IRR. Referring to at least the registry-based routing registries and the RADB, some operators run their own instance of the IRR as well. And they may require the customers to place the route object there if their customer is not using any of the registry-hosted ones or the RADB. The slide shows you some examples. These are taken from a network operator. And it shows a route object with the address space and the origin AS. One example is for IPv4. The other example is for IPv6. The next object is the AS object. The AS object documents the peering policy used by this AS with other autonomous systems. It lists network information, it lists contact information, and it lists routes announced to and accepted from neighboring autonomous systems. Some operators pay close attention to what is contained in the AS object, and some will configure the border router, BGP, so that the policy is based on what is listed in the AS object. The screen shows you a typical AS object example, again taken from publicly available information for a network operator. It lists some input statements, so which autonomous system it's importing prefixes from and how, and some export statements, which again lists what they're going to export to the different autonomous systems. The final one we're going to look at is the AS set. The AS set is referenced in the AS object and is used by network operators to group AS numbers they provide transit for in an easier to manage form. It's convenient for more complicated policy declarations and is used mostly by network operators who build the eBGP filters from their IRR entries. In fact, it's commonly used at internet exchange points to handle large numbers of peers. If we look at the example on the slide in front of you, you'll see, again, a typically available AS set by a transit provider. And the transit provider is listing the AS members, in other words, the autonomous systems that it is providing transit to. So when somebody else needs to set up policy, or they need to set up policy, they can refer to the AS set rather than having to list all the members individually. If they get a new end user or new customer as uh, AS that they need to announce, they simply add it to the AS set. And no other object in the Internet Routing Registry needs to be changed.